Spicy Cat Jams. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Today I have, I'm late, I'm sorry, it's an unboxing. It is my The Crafty Mail unboxing from March. And I apologize, I usually like to get this one up fairly early. In fact, I just received the April box, so... Let's get this one taken care of and then I can show off the April one. The theme in this month was Peter Cotton Cottontail. If you are unfamiliar with the Crafty Mail, they are a monthly subscription box that the lovely Kelly coordinates through various small time, small business crafters, a lot of Etsy shop owners and the like. She'll throw out a theme and ask for sponsors. It's relatively small. And it's, I think, a great value. I will list all the prices I could find, a few things I may have had to estimate, and then I will give you the totals at the end. So, every month it comes, <laughs> sorry, cat jumping off, it'll have this taped in the top with all your information, nicely packaged, and it smells really good. So, this month we received... Um, I need to start using these. This is a planner clip. I have like a real small calendar and I don't even use it for planner. It's more just like my little journal. And um, I don't get to use these near enough. And if I'm not careful, the cats will take them as toys. But it's super, super cute. Um, again, I'll have the company info down below. This, talk about planner clips, here's another one. This one is a crocheted bunny. I love this bunny. My mom was a crocheter and she made lots of pins in this same pattern and I know I have them. So this makes me happy, but it is a planner clip. This was stuck in a lot of times. I, can't, I don't know if they're add-ons from the Crafty Mail or she um, just sticks them in, but this is a little mini wood paper clip with a heart on. This is one of the things that is smelling very good. It is, whew, sorry, I shouldn't have put it that close to my mouth. It is, I believe it's called a bath bomb, Easter egg bath bomb. So this is actually plastic. I'm not sure I didn't open it because I do not do baths, but I gift these to my girlfriend. Um, so I'm not sure if you open it, if it's like a hard ball or ball oval egg shape or if it's loose um, powder, but I will send this to her and she can pamper herself with that. This is from this company. It is a hand crocheted little ring. It's an adjustable band. Very interesting. I have no idea. I got big fingers, but it's a lot kind of cute in its own little way. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, <laughs> but it's a unique. And that's one of the things I love about this box is I get some very unique items and all of it is great for gifting. Um, I believe it or not, even though I do haul videos, I'm not much of a shopper. I don't like crowds. I don't like dealing with a lot of the headache that goes with shopping. I like to do online shopping. But um, when it comes for gifts, I always struggle with to get people. So this is a box that is excellent. Number one, if you just want to give it to someone as a gift. Or you can pick pieces out of it that maybe you're not going to use and then save them for gifts. They're perfect. This is a soap sample. Another, oh, no it's not. I think this is, oh, <laughs> sorry, I got some really strong smell and stuff. This is a bath melt. So first I thought it was soap, but I'm like, no, it's too powdery. So it's a bath melt. This will also be going to my girlfriend. This, I, I, we already went through this, my coworkers and I, I forget what's in here, but it was wrapped up so cute and tied. And it's um, Chameleon Girls is the company. And I remember what this is. This is so cute. It is a little felt. It's a finger puppet. So I'll probably give this to Eddie. I wonder if he can use it in his clowning. But yeah, it's a little finger puppet. I got my little bunny friend right here. Isn't that cute? So and then so the fun part is you get to try these items and then you can go to these company stores because you have the information of their websites and you can get all kinds of great gift ideas. This is a pair of, it's supposed to be Easter egg earrings. That'll focus or not, probably not with my head there. Yeah, this is, they're just little pink pierced ears, kind of egg shaped. Those are kind of nice. I usually don't always wear big dangly ears, so earrings, my ears are what they are. <laughs> so that's what it is. 
I thought I was losing something. It was like this little piece of cardboard something fell out. There are some planner stickers, Easter themed, in this. There is, this is a frequent um, supporter. It's a tea shop. They're very fun flavors, a tea bag. I think I yeah, three items left. I think these were my favorite. This is from the Crafty Mail. We got this for Valentine's, a different design, but these are the cutest little burlap banner. Look at that. Is that not adorable? Very cute. Of course, now that Easter's over, I'll save it till next year. But it's so beautiful. This I love because it is another crocheted item, and it is a, a coffee cozy thingy, so you don't burn your hand. And it's got purple flower. Purple's my favorite. So this is so lovely. Um, I should add, most of the contributors here will give you coupon information too. So if you want to go purchase from their shop, they have a coupon code. So very cool. And then the last item, also a favorite, is this little wooden butterfly that says... Um, so I thought first, I'm like, what does it say? It says dream. It's kind of wood burnt in here. I know you're not going to be able to see it, but it's very cute. I love this butterfly. It is just got a glue dot on there, but you could easily put a magnet on this to use for the fridge. So that is everything I got in my March Peter Cottontail, the crafty mailbox. I think it's a great value. Um, Kelly does promise that she will always try to make sure you get at least the value of the, what you're paying for your subscription. The boxes may not be the same because it depends how many items a contributor sent to her. So they can have a choice. Maybe they can only give 30 items. So she will make up the boxes to make sure they're all equivalent value within reason. And um, yeah, it's just like a fun little surprise that I get every month. So. Thanks for stopping. Check out the info below if you're at all interested, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, friends. This is a very good smelling box, let me just tell you that. It's maybe even a little overpowering <laughs> because of all the scents, but... And then this, because Kelly always promotes her own business, of course, the Crafty Mail. Look, she does these planner clips. These are little felt ones. So cute. And she has the back covered. And then, I mean, look at this. I mean, the bag is cute enough. And then she adds on this little doily, paper doily. Love it.